I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you guys are tired of seeing your lockdowns get bopped around on the court, I have the perfect solution for you. I got two lockdown builds that I think you guys should make in MB 2 k 25 You could choose which one you want. One's a 6-6, six, six, one's a 6-7. Six, the chapters are gonna be below. But I feel like if you make a lockdown on this game, you are gonna have a lot of fun. Playing on a point guard, trust me, speaking from firsthand experience, it's just no fun, bro. Just make a lockdown, please. Have some fun. You know, crumble some point guards. All I can ask from you guys is to hit that subscribe button, drop a like while you're down there, and we could go ahead and get right into the my player builder now real quick before we get into the builds i gotta preface this these lockdowns are more or less for twos and threes you could use them in 5v5 pro am but like i really wouldn't recommend it like you could determine if you guys want to use these locks in 5v5 pro am but like there's a lot of better locks out there you know designed and created truly for 5v5 so these are really for 2v2 and 3v3 i just got to put that disclaimer out there but let's go ahead and get right into it all right so the first build we are going to be going over is the 6-7 lockdown so we do want to be going small forward on the position 6-7 height the weight we're going to want to be going 222 and the wingspan is going to be 7 foot 3 these are the exact vitals that you are going to want for the 6-7 lockdown on 2k25 and a quick little rundown of what this build is going to look like we got defense we got pass act we got shooting strength Strength and finishing we got literally everything but as you guys know on my build videos i do start out with physicals i mean if you guys have been here you guys just know that that's where i start off so we got an 87 speed we got an 85 agility we also got an 85 strength with a 70 vertical you guys want to make sure you have these four down so you know later on when we talk about badges and we talk about shooting and things like that we just got to make sure that you know our foundation is set so you guys can see everything about this build since it's a lockdown i mean we could start off with our defense it's the most important factor on our build we got a 92 perimeter defense and we got a 94 steel now you guys might be wondering like why these are so low but in my opinion you know on a lockdown you really don't need higher than this this year and with cab breakers you could get even more and our block is going to be a 74. That's all we need. This is literally all we need for defense this year on the 6-7 lockdown. Trust me, it is the soup. So, 92 perimeter defense. We get basically all the defensive badges on gold beside off-ball pest. So we get gold challenger, on-ball menace, pig dodger, and a movable forcer. Obviously, off-ball pest is on Hall of Fame, but that badge is super easy to get on this game. Anyways, these badges on gold are very good. And if you get cat breakers, you can make your perimeter way higher so you can get some legend or hall of fame badges but as a baseline gold challenger works very well i mean you put a hand up on the guy when he's shooting a wing shot top of the key shot he's gonna have a very hard time trying to time it especially being a 6-7 with max wingspan on ball menace is okay i don't really see that badge used too much pig dodger on the other hand i mean pig dodger's been in the game for how many years now it is a badge that you definitely need in this game you get through the screens and even if you want to plus one this badge get it on hall of fame it's even better a movable enforcer just makes you get really bumpy as a lockdown and just makes the ball handler have a hard time trying to get up the court or trying you know chain some moves together these badges you put them all together you have them on the highest level all of them on gold on your build and you go to the twos you go to the threes and you can really put belt to ass i'm not gonna lie to you guys if a lockdown with these attributes tried guarding me i would definitely have a you know tough time but you know i'm still bopping you let's be honest we got a 94 steel rating, which is honestly pretty baseline in this game. You either go 94 or 96, but we do get that Hall of Fame Interceptor. And man, I mean, like we could literally go on and on about Interceptor. This badge in this game is crucial for anyone, any position, literally anything. And with you being a lockdown, you have it on a pretty high rating. So Hall of Fame Interceptor, I mean, this badge is just insane. You could get lanes halfway across the court. You could get put into Superman lane animations. It's honestly really good for business. I think any build should have Interceptor on minimum gold, plus one into Hall of Fame, or you could have it on Hall of Fame and plus one into Legend. It's just way too overpowered in this game. Maybe they're gonna nerf steals in the future, but I don't really know. We also do got Gold Glove, which on ball plucks are honestly not that good this year. So you don't really gotta worry about what tier your glove rating is on. I mean, you got it on gold, you can maybe get some on ball plucks every now and then, but trust me, it is not that overpowered in this game. Especially compared to last year where you could literally just get a steal off of any animation this year it is definitely a lot harder i personally think you know the defense needs a rework i think you know on ball steals aka glove needs a little bit of a buff and then interceptor and lane steals definitely needs a nerf now for our 74 block this is just going to enable you to get some chase down blocks you do get high flying denier this is a new badge this year which raises the chance of getting a block while moving at a high speed so as i said before chase down blocks if you're chasing down your opponent he's about to go for a dunk you could get a lebron chase down 74 is just fine in my opinion you also 
also get pain controller which is basically like our new intimidator protects the rim at a high level so this works for blocks this works for just regular hands up contests in the paint anything like that we also do got a 60 interior defense which is going to pair up with our paint controller on bronze and it also helps us with our off ball pass we could go bottom to top i'm not going to lie since we are using a defensive build i mean we could go straight to pass accuracy we're not going to touch much on our ball handle but our pass sack is going to be a 71 rating for that silver dimer we put our ball handle up to a 63 and your speed with ball goes to a 68 so like this is going to be exactly what you need we get lightning launch on bronze which isn't really going to do much i'm not going to lie but like if you want to you know do a little bit of a speed boost you do the 21 quick stop i mean you can do it lightning launch will help you a little bit we do get that strong handle on bronze so you know if you do have the ball for whatever reason it is a less of a chance of you getting ripped but the 71 pass sack is what's important here i think 70 pass sack is pretty much baseline on this game but obviously that 71 is for that silver dimer you know if you find yourself with the ball as a lockdown and your point guard is dexing center setting an off ball screen you can easily dot him and that silver dimer is going to help quite a bit we also do have that bronze break starter so if you do get the rebound go ahead and throw it down the court to whoever is leaking on the break so 71 pass act 63 ball and a 68 speed with ball you cannot go wrong with these three now going on to our shooting this is very important we got a 79 three-point shot and we also do have an 85 midi now the 85 midi is obviously going to be for our jump shot bases and we also do get that silver dead eye as you see so 79 three-point i think you should not have a problem with shooting on this game especially if you have your hot spots and lethals i mean you guys already know how the shooting algorithm is on this game you are bound to miss a couple shots but still 79 three point is good especially from the corner from the wing if you even go to the top of the key you should be just fine and we do have that 85 midi as i said before we do get the jump shot bases with that and if you're the one to try and midi fade or midi pull up you can do that just fine the badges we do get are silver dead eye silver set shot specialist which is a new badge this year this is like open looks and we do get that bronze shifty shooter which is basically like difficult shots or anything like that i think these two attributes pair up really well together on nba 2k25 on a lockdown 85 and 79 you can't really go wrong with and our free throw we are going to keep to a 60 so as i said before if you are going to use this build in pro-am you should up your free throw maybe a little bit to an 80 because it doesn't cost that much but we do not need that so yeah 79 three point 85 mid-range keep these two stats and then we could go up to our finishing we do have an 81 standing dunk with a 73 driving 53 driving layup with a 71 close shot and a 51 post control so we are a lockdown and standing dunks pretty much work like last year i'm not gonna lie like if you're on the back door you can get the standing dunk pretty easily it is a little bit less overpowered than last year but it's nothing crazy we do get silver aerial wizard and silver rise up we do get a good amount of standing dunk animations and the 73 driving dunk does allow us to get you know regular dunk animations not just standing which we also do get that bronze posterizer badge. So yeah, as I said before, if your guard calls a back door, maybe a hash cut, maybe you run down with him on the court, you should not have a problem getting dunks off, especially with the 73 driving dunk if your 81 standing dunk does not really trigger. 53 driving layup isn't gonna give us anything. Same thing with 71 close shot. So we're just worried about our dunk ratings here. Now we can finally go ahead and round this first lockdown build off at our rebounding. Our offensive rebound is going to be an 80 rating. And then we're gonna put our defensive rebound to a 66. Now you guys need to have rebounding on your locks, especially if it's twos or threes. Like, you just need to, bro. If you're a lockdown that has no rebounding on its build, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You are basically useless on the court, especially in this game where you gotta chuck up shots. And like, most of the time, the shots aren't really gonna go in. So on this build, you do have an 80 O board, 66 D board, the 80 offensive rebound. I mean, you crash for the board, you get the box out with your 85 strength. You're basically getting everything, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Silver rebound chaser, silver box out beast, and bronze pogo stick. These are the three badges that are necessities when it comes to rebounding. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, Silver Rebound Chaser does do a pretty good job when you're trying to get the boards. The Silver Box Out Beast, you get box pretty much most of the time. If you know how to get box outs in 2K, you're gonna get it basically every single time. And Bronze Pogo Stick, I mean, it doesn't work that well, but I mean, what can you do? It's not like you can get it on a higher tier. So, I mean, that's gonna round off our first lockdown build that I'm showing you guys. I mean, if you need a good lockdown in this game for twos and threes, maybe even you can use this build on fives. But as I said, you know, th there's definitely better options for fives. This is the build we're gonna go with. I'll run it down for you guys top to bottom. We got a 73 driving dunk, 81 standing dunk, 85 midi, 79 three point shot, 71 pass accuracy. And we do have a 92 perimeter with a 94 steal, 74 block, 80 offensive rebound with a 66 defensive rebound. I really don't 
think you can go wrong with this build. You're gonna get the job done playing defense being a lockdown for your team and honestly it is a lot of fun playing on a build like this i'm not gonna lie to you guys you know obviously we got the great shooting stats for the silver dead eye and the good jump shot bases we got a 71 pass hack so we could pass the ball we got a 92 perimeter for the gold defensive badges and that 94 steal for that hall of fame interceptor as i said before you really can't go wrong let me go ahead and press x press continue and while we're waiting to see the build name Go ahead and go down the comment section and let me know what you think of this build or what you would change. I don't really think there's much you could change on this build, maybe a couple things, but it is going to be a 3 and D wing. This is what the build name is going to be. But let's go ahead and get on to the next lockdown build that I, you know, I got to show you guys. I got to show you guys too every single time. So for the next lockdown build I got for you guys, you guys might be thinking, what am I doing? I got a 6-6 lockdown for you guys. And trust me, speed on a lockdown this year is really good. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about in a second, but 217 pounds six foot six on the height with a seven foot two wingspan i'm not gonna lie to you guys this might be one of them once so we go ahead and press continue and we go down to our physicals as i told you guys before we got a 90 speed on this build i mean you're gonna be moving like the flash it is so nice playing defense on a high speed lock we got an 89 agility our strength is going to be an 82 we're not going to have an 85 strength which i mean that's fine we could have an 82 and then our vertical is only going to be at a 65 so you know as always we're on a lockdown we could start off with our defense for our perimeter defense Defense, we do have a 97 perimeter we are going to have high defensive stats on this build we do have a 94 steel obviously for that interceptor 59 interior and then 47 block we're not going to change much to these since defense is down here i forgot we could go ahead and put these as well we got a 74 offensive rebound and our defensive rebound is going to stay at 59 so this build is more or less heavily defense based and like what i mean by that is perimeter and steel obviously the interior and block are not like that but you're a 6-6 six, six lock so you're trying to get every single stop in the world 97 perimeter defense as you can see we literally have every single defensive badge on hall of fame beside a movable forcer just because you know we do not have that 85 strength on this build but that's fine it's a good trade-off because we get hall of fame challenger hall of fame on ball menace and hall of fame pig dodger these three badges right here should make sure that you never get bopped on nba 2k25 i mean hall of fame challenger someone tries to shoot a shot you close out it's just not going in bro your center's gonna get the rebound on ball menace you're going to bump him so many times and he's gonna be rattled because you're on a 6-6 lockdown and then pick dodger you could get through literally every single screen which screens aren't that good this year so i mean you're gonna be fine regardless 97 perimeter defense you literally cannot go wrong and then if you do get cab breakers you could go 99 perimeter and put the rest on steel but that's if you do get cap breakers 94 steel we talked about this before we do get hall of fame interceptor which is an insanely op badge in general lanes are really good this year with hall of fame interceptor you get superman lane animations you can literally take anyone out of an animation and get the easy lane i've seen some crazy ones this year it's just you guys got to try it out yourself to you know really understand how good it is and then gold glove i think glove and on ball steals in general need a buff this year gold glove is okay but even if you have legend glove on ball plucks like the success rate are very very low so yeah gold glove hall of fame interceptor we have a 59 interior defense which isn't going to get you anything same thing with 47 block but with our 74 offensive rebound we do get bronze rebound chaser and silver box out beast and we also have a 59 defensive rebound now going up to our pass accuracy we do have a 71 pass hack on this build i told y'all 70 is pretty much baseline the other lockdown we had 71 as well we do get the silver dimer and bronze break starter if you guys ever find yourself on this build and you're in the corner or the wing and your point guard is trying to dex or maybe do a cut or whatever it is you can easily pass it to him and the silver dimer is going to help out a little bit the break starter badge won't really be utilized as much since you are 6-6 i mean if you do get the defensive rebound throw it down the core but most likely you will not but we do have a 70 ball handle and 75 speed with ball in this build so you are going to get some sigs and i mean honestly you could you know run around with the ball you can quick stop you can maybe speed boost a little bit we do get silver strong handle and bronze unpluckable which silver strong handle basically you know negates the amount that you get bumped it tones it down a little bit unpluckable is pretty self-explanatory and then 75 speed with ball we do get that silver lightning launch so you could really explode out of any animation that you want to this is a pretty fun part about this build i mean the ball handle and speed with ball if you ever want to you know just have some fun on the court you're tired of your point guard shooting four for 13 this is your time to really shine so yeah 71 pass sack 70 ball handle and a 75 speed with ball 
that's going to be our playmaking attributes going up to our shooting now it is going to be kind of opposite of our other build this is going to be an 83 three-point shot with a 73 mid-range so you do get some bases i'm not going to lie you obviously don't get the 85 attribute bases as you guys can see we basically get every single shooting badge on bronze we get dead eye on bronze limitless on bronze which is actually insane that we get limitless on this build and then silver set shot specialist and bronze shifty shooter so like low key no excuses when shooting the ball because you do have the badges to cover it up and the silver set shot specialist i mean it should help you in the corner and the wing if you're sitting there like a lot off the catch and shoot and then limitless if you want to get a little you know tactical you could shoot from wherever you want free throw we're not going to touch and 73 midi it's not that much but i mean if you want to fade a midi every now and then it might go down but honestly i, I wouldn't really recommend it I would just stick to the three point line now rounding off this build on our finishing stats we do have a 73 driving dunk if i could put it to a 73 and we also do have a 72 standing dunk which i'm you know trying to get there and everything else obviously you can't change 55 64 and 42 so anyways 73 driving dunk 72 standing dunk this is very helpful on this game you're a 66 lock so you're not going to get the best animations but at least we get the baseline badges we get rise up on bronze aerial wizard on bronze and then our 73 driving dunk is going to get us that bronze posterizer so if you guys go on a backdoor hash cut you run with your guard up the court whatever it is you should get a dunk majority of the time unless they stop you at the rim then you know it's just going to be a little bit unlucky but the badges are going to help you out it's obviously not the highest in the world but it's still going to get the job done nonetheless but this is the 6-6 six, six lock build that i wanted to show you guys i mean you got two options you got the 6-7 six, or the 6-6 six, six. these two are very fun builds if you want to crunch some guards you know maybe your friends are talking to you so you got to make this build and pull up on them whatever it is we got a 73 driving dunk 72 standing dunk 73 midi with an 83 three-point shot 71 pass act 70 ball handle 75 speed with ball 97 perimeter 94 steel with a 74 offensive rebound and also got that 90 speed and 89 agility so you are going to be super fast on the court y'all gotta let me know how you feel about this one compared to the other one or maybe you just watch this build because it's a 6-6 six, six lock. But I think this build is very, very fun to play on. You get a lot of stops. You get bumpy. You're fast. You could dribble the ball. You could shoot the ball. And you could dunk. It's, it's very, very fun. Let's go ahead and press X. Press continue and see what we have crafted here. We did go ahead and get a 3 and D wing on this game. Basically the same name as the other one. Let me know your thoughts down below of this log build compared to the other one. Because they are two very solid options. So I mean there you have it. There are two very good lockdown builds on this game. I mean obviously we got the 6-7 and then we got the 6-6. Which I haven't seen a lot of people make a 6-6 lock on this game. Two very good options for park 2s and 3s. Definitely would slide in the wreck but you know 5v5 pro-am. I don't know about 5v5 pro maybe y'all can make it work but as i said before there are a lot of better builds out there for fives y'all just gotta let me know what you think of each build down in the comment section and while you're down there i mean you might as well hit the subscribe button and drop a like while you're down there the subscribe button is very very important i hope you guys had a great day today and a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch you on the next one i'm out peace